historical confabulation shapes our understanding of events, often to serve a specific narrative. In episode 41, I talked about the former USSR and how they loved to erase political enemies from photographs. For one example of many, there's a famous photo which proudly captures Lenin and other Soviet leaders in Red Square in Moscow in 1919. You can see Lenin, and on his left you see Leon Trotsky, and on Lenin's right is a man named Kamenev, and there's a Bolshevik leader from Georgia in front of them. Now, if you look at a release of this photo some years later, the official Soviet version of the photo, you see that after Leon Trotsky fell from party favor, he was airbrushed out of the photo. In the revised photograph, there's just an empty space where he used to be, and Kamenev on Lenin's right, has disappeared as well. And the bearded Bolshevik leader never existed in the photo either. This is essentially the photographic version of confabulation. And this happens constantly in the retelling of history. As is often said, history is the pack of lies told by the winner. And as an apropos side note, it's not at all clear who first said that quotation. It's commonly associated with Napoleon or Churchill, but apparently there are versions of this going back to Herodotus. So nations and cultures are constantly shaping public memory. History is always being rewritten. And it works because just like individuals, societies need a coherent story. When reality is messy, history gets edited, sometimes consciously, sometimes through the natural distortion of collective memory. Thank you.